Now, with dwindling returns from maize and wheat farming, farmers from the North Rift and Western regions are now diversifying and taking up silkworm farming in order to boost their income. Our reporter Gabriel Kudaka tells us that's how it uh, tells us rather how it's going for them. The 10,000 acre parcel of land in Ziwa, Uwasin Gishu County, has been prepared for planting mulberries, the staple diet for silkworms, which produce silk during their larval stage. Besides silk production, the demo farm, which has been leased for seven years, will also be used to train farmers in silkworm production. To plant the mulberry trees, it takes three months. That is why we are getting now, that we are in by November. Our, our trees will be ready so that we feed to the, to, the, to the silkworms. The moment you bring the cocoons to us, we pay cash. Yeah. Whatever we are going to sell, that's our problem. Mm -hmm. But also we are going to help the farmers with either pesticides, those kind of things. The production of silk, which is widely used in the textile industry, involves rearing silkworms, a practice also known as sericulture. So, for the silkworms... Over a thousand farmers from western and north thrift regions have been undergoing sensitization on silk production. Nimestajabu, maana nimeliona ni kitu ambalo linapatikana hata mule mstuni. Hivyo kulichunga na kulitengeneza, naona siyo kazi kubwa. Maindi, ukienda kukomboa saini 10,000, sendio? Ukomboe 10,000, uweke mtu, ufanya nini? Eh? Niambie, yenye ungefanya hii ingechukua yoyote. Many farmers have already signed contracts with investors. You know, we have our buyers in China. They are going to visit us and see how they can help. We are going to start small. You know, 10,000, it seems a lot, but it's small when you think it's an international market we are getting to. Just set aside a small piece of land, at least an acre or so, to diversify your farming. Because this one can give you at least in monthly returns. Because we are selling silk on a monthly basis. Gabriel Kudaka, NTV.